All right, so here we go. We got another bike uh, from my collection. This is a 1985 Harrow Master Freestyler. Uh, I'm just going to do a quick walk around, let you guys get a view of this bike. And then um, what I'll do is uh, I'll give a little bit of history on it, you know, uh, how I got it, what it looked like, what I did to it, and just to get it to, you know, how it looks today. Um, so like I said, this is 1985 Harrow Master uh, in chrome. Uh, the chrome on this bike uh, is original, okay, as well as the chrome on the forks. Now the, the decals, I'll say, are not original decals because uh, those decals that are on here now are replacements, um, which I purchased a while ago. And so I wouldn't say these de decals are 100% you know, um, the colors aren't 100% like they would have seen in the originals. Uh, but I, unfortunately, I had to change the originals because they were that, that beat up. But um, anyway, I got this bike, I'd say maybe about, um, maybe a little over seven years ago. I did buy it as a complete, you know, for the most part. It looks the way you see it. And um, with, this, with a few exceptions, right? There are a few things I upgraded um, because I wanted just to make it, that more higher quality, right? So, why don't we start? Um, why don't we start at the top here, right? So these grips here are the um, these are the Aim uh, Tri grips. They're the bubble font, right? These are the grips, same ones that you would have had in the '80s. And yeah, these aren't replicas. These are the actual Aim bubble font grips. And you can see that um, by the font, right? So these really nice shape. Maybe a little dirty. Needs to be a little cleaned up. But for the most part, you know, they look really nice. Um, next up are the uh, die comps, you know, locking lever brakes. Okay, these are, I believe, a Tech 5. Uh, now, these conditions are actually absolutely perfect. You can see there's no um, wear and tear on them. These are dated 1985. I did purchase these new old stock. I have the original ones, which I had redone um, for, the, for a different bike. But these here, I, I got so lucky that I found them in new old stock condition pretty much brand new and so i just so happen to find this color combination which happens to match the calipers so anyway really nice set of brakes um as good as it gets um so moving on down here we have the the handlebar this is the Ty, uh, tioga air step handlebars as you can see from these air steps uh this handlebar was repowdered white came out super mint and um i was even able to find the replacement decal, as you can see it right there. Um, so, super nice set of bars, really cool looking bars for, for that time back in the 80s for freestyle, so really nice. Moving over here, we have the ACS rotor. This is the uh, 55 slant stem. You know, or that's the um, original decal, as you can see, original hardware. Um, I really love this stem. It's, uh, it's such a nice look with that slant on it right so really super nice and uh you know also accompanying that stem is the acs rotor with the original decals like you would have seen it you know back in the 80s everything looks pretty nice um and it's as uh, expected there okay um so this frame i'm gonna get some close close-ups on it but as you can see the frame is super nice right the chrome is all original like i said earlier very little rust. I think the only rust you're gonna find is, if you can see it, right over there. That's about it. But I did get the, the bike. Uh, I did polish it out a bit. I have a polishing wheel that I used, right? And uh, as you can see, this chrome is like super nice, right? I'm just gonna try and get in on it real close, right? Look at the, the dropouts, even in there. That's where you see a lot of, um, rust sometimes is inside that platform and the rear dropouts but these rear dropouts are super super nice dropouts right so you can check out that frame right okay here it is the frame up here you can see the fork is super nice got the original harrow uh, platforms that fo the folding ones which are super nice this fork is, is really, really nice as well. Let me go to the other side. Okay. 
So you can see the fork again, really nice fork. Super nice condition. The dropouts are absolutely meant on both sides. Again, this is the fold down pegs. Pegs have a little bit of rust in them, but you know, that's okay, in my opinion. Um, so here's the other side of the frame. Okay, they can see the rest of the frame and here you go with the, the rear platform all right dropouts like i said super mint all right so that's the frame and fork looks really good let's just come back over to the front um in the front here you have your daikon nippon brakes these are super nice really nice condition these are original to the bike as i purchased them uh this got the hex nut in the front which is a more desirable you know, set up these are original Skyway tough. Uh, I believe this is these original Skyway uh, brake pads. Pretty sure. Um, yeah, really nice condition. This is the uh, Harrow Freestyle tires in green. You know, super nice, good condition. You know, um, for their age. These were new old stock too, and I purchased them. They've been sitting around for a long time. They're soft but not super, super soft, because if they were just made, right? obviously. Um, so this is the uh, Peregrine Master graphite wheel, right? Um, pretty good condition, got a little bit of brake rub, but that's to be expected, okay? Um, take a look at the other side. As you can see here, yeah, very, the wheel of the tires are in very nice shape for their age. Really nice looking set of tires. Um, really looks good. Okay. I don't remember the type of headset that's on this. Um, I don't recall what that headset was. I'm not gonna say it's a hat. I don't think it is. I don't. I don't believe so. Anyways, coming to the back, here's a uh, an original green Dominator seat. Uh, this is not a. This is not a reissue. This is an original one from the '80s. Okay. Yeah. In really good shape. The the lettering is still there, which is nice. It's a laid back you know, seat post. This is your die comp clamp style uh, seat post clamp, right? So that's in really nice shape. That was new old stock that I purchased it. So um, yeah, moving on down, we have these um, white. MKS graphite pedals. Uh, you know, these are really hard to find in white. I mean, you can find them in black. I had black on here and I just swapped them out to the white ones, but these are in really good shape for, for, what, for what they are. Uh, I had another white set on another bike that I did a video on, and um, those are the only two sets I own. This one here and the other one. Uh, but anyway, so this is uh, what they look like. The cranks are the Harrow Group 1 cranks that you would have expected. You know, back in the day, and what's what's nice about this set is that I even have the Harrow, you know, uh, caps that go on them on both sides, right? So, really nice set of cranks, you know, for for, for back then. This was the high end cranks that you would have been able to get. They even have you know the unidirectional chain wheel with the gold uh, chain wheel um, bolts, which is nice too. Okay, so. This is the chain, it's just a regular white chain. Nothing special about that. Um, and then coming over to, to the back here, I don't know if anybody's seen these in a while, but these are the old Tioga axle extenders. These are old um, pegs, if you will. So anyway, I just kind of get an idea. Here's the rear, the rear wheel. All right. Kind of take a look at that. Tires are the same condition as the front. Really, really nice tire. Pretty much new, new old stock. And the Nippon in the back, the Nippon brakes are in very nice condition. Just like the ones in the front, they match the condition. It's super nice, dated properly. 1985, nice two-tone uh, blue and white, which matches the, the levers. Okay. Um, so when I bought the bike seven years ago, um, like I was saying earlier, I bought it like this. So the, what it, the way it came originally was those handlebars were on the bike. It had different grips. 
Uh, the levers were, were same colors, but older and a little beat up. It came with the Peregrine Masters. It came with the Nippons. It didn't come with those cranks. So what I replaced was the seat. I bought a, a green dominator for it. The grips, green. The levers, the stem was original to the bike. That's how I bought it. This bike wasn't complete when I bought it. I had one piece cranks that were Tiogas. I still have them uh, with a matching disc and chain wheel. Uh, the tires I bought, new old stock. The cranks I bought, uh, which were really nice condition. And the graphite pedals I bought, the seat clamp I bought, I had a different type of seat clamp. I had a Tioga seat clamp uh, that you could adjust with your hand. So there were a lot of Tioga parts in this bike. So the guy, you know, when he when he must have bought it, he bought it. Um, the, the person I bought it from was the original owner, and uh, he, he had the bike shop build it, I think, for him from a frame and fork set, and uh, he built it that way, you know. So I just changed it up a little bit, but I kept all the main parts, and now I think it looks super nice. Let me take a look at this picture. So, anyway, I think that's about it. Um, not not more not more to say about it. But as you can see, a really nice example of a of a uh, Harrow Master custom build from 1985. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you very much, and um, I'll be doing another one out of my collection soon. Thanks a lot.